Shalom, Shalom, Israel. Before I start this lesson, I'm going to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Call Law Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I'm with Brother Tazim Akamath, coming from the Camp Company of Prophets here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. That teaches truth and well, peace and salutation to the whole let that scattered abroad. And today, I just want to go into this topic of how the Lord is gonna is gonna uh, avenge us. Just how the scriptures say, the Lord is gonna seek re revenge, re revenge and vengeance, you know, upon our enemies and to redeem us. From our, our from our oppressors, man, he's gonna give us uh our revenge, man. So we don't really have to do anything but trust in you. How about Shemuel Shai? Have patience, all right? Because when the Lord does come, he's gonna do all that he he said he was gonna do. Okay, but this is James chapter two verse thirteen, and it says. For he shall have judgment without mercy that have showed no mercy. That mercy rejoiceth against judgment. Right, man. Who's a, who's the person who's the main main people on this earth that showed us no mercy? OK, and it will be our main enemy, Esau, Edom. OK, and the list of our enemies will be in the Psalms, a third chapter. OK, and the number one enemy is uh, Esau, Edom. OK, but this man has showed us no mercy. OK. He a hey, he raped, you know, he robbed, he pillaged, you know, he brung diseases, all these things he done to the nation of Israel, man. OK. It's even to the furthest, furthest extent, he made mockery of us, made movies of us. OK. About how he how he how he uh, enslaved us. You know, these are all things that we could you could look up. You could go on Google, look up the lynching, look up Emmett Till. You could look up all these things, man. OK. So these people, when when they when they get uh when they get put enslaved by by us, starting with our Lord, Yahweh Shai, it's going to be it's going to be hell for them, man, because we're not going to show them no mercy, man. If we were back in the time that we was back, I say what about 40, 50 years ago? Okay, hey, hey, you know, it, it would not be the same as it is right now, man. Okay, but see, hey, it's all, all hell is about to break loose, break loose soon. Okay, it's gonna be race wars. Okay, it's gonna be all type of wars out here, man. All right, gender wars. There's gonna be a big civil war. All right. Hey, but guess what? We waiting on our Lord Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai to to give us that to give us that vengeance, man. Okay, as it says in the scriptures. So let's grab it. Avenge. So this is Romans 12 and, and 19. It says, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves. And when you go into this word avenge, it, it means not to, uh, you know, basically not, not to seek vengeance and do it your own way. Okay, let me actually look it up. Let me see. Let me look it up. Avenge. See what it says. Avenge definition. So avenge it says inflict harm and return for an injury or wrong done to oneself or another. Alright. And guess what, man? We we have that we have that 
you know, perpetual hatred against Esau. We, hey, the Lord is stirring up our pure minds, the ways, ways of remembrance, all these things that Esau done unto us, how he comes at us. But, hey, the Lord said, avenge not ourselves. We don't got no military. Okay. Scripture say in Isaiah, fear not that worm. When you go to Isaiah 41 and verse 13, it says, For I, Yahweh, thy power will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. So these are all comforting words that the Lord is written unto us to help us, man. <laughs> to know that he got our back, that he's gonna that he's gonna protect the elect. Because at the end of the day, that's who he's coming for, the elect of Israel. Okay, so it says, fear not, thou worm Jacob, right? We're a worm. We don't have no military arsenal. We can't go and combat and go to war against Esau. We'll, we'll desperately lose, man. Okay, it says, fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, saith Yahweh, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Okay, and guess, and guess who's going to redeem us, man? Is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the one that's gonna redeem us. Yahweh Shai is the one that's gonna that's gonna save us, you know, from our oppressor and these curses. Okay. And the Lord said, Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. Okay. So the Lord is gonna use his elect men and give them power. A to to knock down our enemies. To the to the straight, put them to uh, put them to uh, what's a what's a good word um, basically smush them to nothing, man. Okay, you see you see the show uh like Invincible. Uh, you got Omni Man, Homelander, you, you hey the boys, you got all the, you got all these, you know superhero movies, and shows hey, and that's how the Lord's gonna esteem power unto his men but it, nothing's gonna stop us man this it says behold i will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument so the lord said i was gonna I, I will make you the elect men a new sharp threshing threshing instrument having teeth having power so the lord's gonna bestow power unto his men <laughs> it says thou shalt thresh the mountains all right the governments and beat them small and shall make the hills as chaff, okay? Hey, all these big governments, these smaller governments, we're going to straight conquer the earth, okay? But now let's go back to Romans 12, okay? This is all part of our patience, waiting on Yahweh Bashim Al to give vengeance for us, okay? It says, dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith Yahweh. Yahweh Shai, Salakia. It says, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith Yahweh Shai. Okay? Hey, the Lord is mad with the wicked each and every day. Let's actually grab that. Wicked every day. Psalm 7 and 11. Yahweh Bashim al Shai, judge of the righteous. And how about Shema Shai is angry with the wicked every day? So you don't think Yahweh Shai is sitting up on the right hand of Yahweh right now, not waiting to make his return? He's desperately waiting to, to expeditiously make his return. Okay? Let's get Revelation 1. Uh, let's see. No, let's get Revelation. Uh, hold on. This is Revelation 1 and 7, okay? Hey, because the Lord, he's mad. You don't think he has you don't think he has vengeance in his heart? Okay? That's why the slain of Yahweh Bashim al Shai is gonna be many. The Lord is not coming to play. Bear with me one sec. Okay? The Lord is not coming to play. 
Okay? The Lord's coming to make vengeance, man, and to show you his power. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, okay, these chariots, and every eye shall see him, okay? Because Ezra, he said that, hey, the Lord's chariot is like, it's like a mountain that's uh that can never, it look like it can never end. So think about how ginormous that is, man. Okay, to just cover the sky. All right. And it says, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced them. Who pierced the Lord? The Romans. Who's the Romans today? Okay. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Okay. The white man, woman, and child is going to go into slavery. It's going to go into captivity. Okay. It says, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so among. Okay. Let's get Revelation uh, 13. All right. It's Revelation 13 and verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Okay. Hey, who led us into captivity, man? Who took us from one land to another? Okay. Esau eat him, man. And you still you still got you still got Jake in the world that believe that, you know, anybody could uh, Edomites could be saved. The Lord coming for everybody. No, man. Okay. No. <laughs> All right, we're the only people that the Lord is coming to save, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? Hey, he's the one that took us from one land to another. We've been exiled, man. All right? This is not our homeland. This is not our place of rest, okay? The Lord is going to give us that, man. All right? It says, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So guess what? Esau, Edom, and all these heathen nations, they're going to go into captivity, man. Okay? Scriptures say, Scriptures say this. Um, 1 Maccabees 2 and 10. What nation have not had a part in her kingdom and gotten of her spoils? Okay? What nation have not had a part in her kingdom and gotten of her spoils, man? Who has not benefited off of Israel, man? They all benefited off of us during the time of slavery and even during this time now. Because we are at a low we are at our lowest state. The Lord had put us in this lowest state, man. Alright. Hey, but guess what? What nation have not had a part in her spoils? Not one. Because they're all benefiting off of us right now. Okay. When you go to Daniel, the ninth chapter. Okay. And read verse 12, it says, And he hath confirmed his words, which he spake against us, and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil. It says, For under the whole heaven have not been done as have been done upon Jerusalem. Okay? We're the only nation of people that was taken from one land to another by the way of ships. Okay? Put on slave ships, took them from one land to another. Okay. So, hey, we we fit we fit the curses, we fit the description of who's the Lord's true children. Okay. <laughs> we are the sons of the Most High. Okay. We are the we are the Lord's apple of His eye, man. We are special unto Him, man. Okay. So when the Lord come back, He's coming for vengeance. For his people and for himself. Okay. <laughs> Let's get this. Get this Isaiah 63 and 1. It says, Who is that that coming from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? Okay, 
And this is the Lord coming back, man. Hey, when he make his return, he's coming to destroy Esau, his system, his infrastructure, his society, his world. His world is going to completely change in one hour. Okay. It says this that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. Okay. And them chariots. The Lord is coming back with thousands and thousands of angels. Okay. And he's going to lead the way. All right. It looks like it's glorious, man. All right. Seeing the Lord coming back in his glory. A crack in the skies. You see all them, all them chariots come back. What you ignorantly call the UFOs. Coming back. Making a return. Zapping people. But also delivering his elect. It says, I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel, and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? So the Lord's gonna make is gonna kill a lot of people, man. There's gonna be a lot of bloodshed upon this earth. Alright. Verse 3 I have trodden the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me. Okay? So Lord, a hey, comparing, you know, the wine press to how much bloodshed is going to be is going to be shed upon this earth. All right, the slain of the Lord shall be many. All right, the Lord is not coming to play. All right, He's angry, man. That's why it's 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 good to to be on the Lord's good side, man. All right, be on His right side. It says, "For I will tread them in my anger." All right, and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment. For the day of vengeance is in mine heart, and the year of my redeemed is come. Okay, so the Lord has his day written, man. Okay, and only no man knew but Yahweh. Okay, no man knows but Yahweh. When Yahweh is going to come back and deliver his elect and, you know, turn this world upside down. And, but guess what? When the Lord does come back, and guess what? Vengeance in his heart. All right. The scripture tells you how a day, of the, a day of the Lord is only a thousand years. So, hey, hey, this this is still fresh to him, man. Our Lord died 2000 plus years ago, man. All right, so this day is still it's still fresh to him. Vengeance is still in his heart. The Lord is not to be played with, man. Yahweh Shai is not to be played with. Because when he comes, he's coming with vengeance. He's coming with, with anger. He's coming with fury. Okay, if you're not on his right side, you will get turned to dust. You will get judged. All right? If you want to save Esau, you're going to taste that same wrath uh, from him, man. Okay. Uh, let's go to uh, the book of Baruch. Let's get uh, the big book of Baruch, chapter four. <laughs> so this is the book of Baruch, chapter four, verse one. And it says, be of good cheer, O my children. Okay, when you go to children, it's the sons. Okay, it says, Cry unto the Lord, Yahweh Shai, and he will deliver you from the power in the hand of the enemies. All right, and then guess what? The only ones that sign and crying for all the abomination done thereof is the elect, okay, of Israel. All right, two thirds of our people do not sign and cry, man, because they're comfortable here, they want to stay here. All right, but the late, they're sighing and crying for all the abominations done thereof. All right, we're mourning, we're vexed. Okay, we're crying out to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. But guess what? The Lord hears our cries. Hey, when you go to the book of 2nd Ezra 15 and verse 8, <clears throat> verse 7 says, Therefore saith Yahweh Shai, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. Okay, and how the Lord speak is through the prophets. Okay, so the Lord said, I will hold my tongue no more, touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. All right, talking about Esau. Okay, Edom. 
hey, they profanely commit wickedness. Contra hey, they, they're adverse to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. They blaspheme him. Okay. It says, neither will I suffer them in those things. Okay. In which they wickedly exercise themselves. All right. It says, behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me. All right. The elect. And the souls of the just complain continually. And therefore, saith Yahweh Shai, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Okay, so the Lord is going to make vengeance for the elect. He's coming to deliver the elect. He's coming to recompense the elect. Okay, when you go into his word, recompense. All right, goes into payback. Re, going to back, compense, meaning to pay. Okay, so the Lord is going to pay back all of our enemies. Okay, and best believe the Lord got enemies. <laughs> Psalms 83. Okay, our main enemy is Esau Edom. The Lord is not coming to play. The Lord is not coming to joke around. <laughs> all right, we're ready to see the Lord hey, show his power upon this earth. <clears throat> Okay, and Lord willing, a hey, we be part of that elect. The Lord use uses His men, okay, to uh to glorify His name, to glorify to glorify His power. All right, so going back to Baruch the fourth chapter, <clears throat> in verse twenty two, it says, "For my hope is in the everlasting, that He will save you." Okay, Yahweh Shai is the one that's going to come back to redeem and save us, right? And joy is come unto me from the Holy One, because of the mercy which shall soon come unto you from the everlasting our Savior. It says, For I sent out with mourning and weeping, but the Most High will give you to me again with joy and gladness forever. Right. We went out mourning and weeping during the time of slavery, all these different captivities. Okay, but when the Lord deliver us, hey, he's going to change us, man. He's going to give us that new body. Or we're going to be in joy and gladness forever. And the uh, book of Revelation tells you how we're not going to cry anymore, man. We're going to be perfect. We're never going to, we're never going to sin. We're never going to go off because we're going to be in that new covenant. We're going to be in that new body when the Lord changes us, when the Lord delivers us, man. Okay. <clears throat> Yahweh right All right. It says, like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, so shall they see shortly your salvation from our power, which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting. Right. And what, what you ignorantly call the UFOs, that's how we're going to get delivered out of here, man. That's our salvation. That's how we're going to be saved. All right. The Lord is going to use his chariots to deliver us. Verse 25. My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High. For thy enemy have persecuted thee, but surely thou shalt see his destruction and shalt tread upon his neck. Okay? Hey, so we sufferingly patiently the wrath that the Most High put upon us. Okay? Hey, guess what? The, our enemy persecuted us. All right, but look, the Lord has something way better for us. He said, but shortly... Thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. Look, we're going to, the elect is going to sit on in them chariots and look down and see the reward of the wicked. <laughs> okay. And we're going to tread upon his neck. Hey, we're going to put him in captivity. We're going to put them chains on him. You're going into slavery. You're going to be working day and night. Okay. Rigorously. <laughs> All right. Uh, verse 26, my delicate ones have gone rough ways and were taken away as a flock caught of the enemies. Be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto the Most High. All right, so we got to pray. It says, for ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. For it was your mind to go astray from the Most High. So being returned, seek him ten times more. Okay, and that's what we're supposed to do. All right, we're supposed to seek the Lord daily. All right. Hey, because that's the Lord. Hey, the Lord's going to give us salvation, man. Lord willing, we endure all the way to the end. Okay. Show our faith by our works. Okay. Continually to, uh, cont continually 
to do the right thing in the, in, in the doctrine, okay, in the right 100% doctrine, hey, the Lord, the Lord promised us, man, okay, the Lord is the man of his word, okay, verse 29, for he that have brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy with your salvation. Verse 30, take a good heart, O Jerusalem. All right. Jerusalem is a people before a place. It says, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. Because Jerusalem means a city of peace. Okay. So the Lord said, so the Lord said, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. So the Lord's going to comfort us, man, with vengeance, okay, upon our enemies. All right. And Lord, when it be the late, hey, he's going to give us deliverance as well, man. So we don't have to worry, man. So Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. We're going to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Until next time, I say Shalom.